మళ్ళీ వచ్చేసాం అదే కాస్ట్యూమ్ లో అదే సెటప్ లో సైడ్ బి తోటి మా వాడు ఎంత బుద్ధిగా నోట్స్ రాసుకుని వచ్చాడు సో ఐ విల్ లెట్ రాహుల్ టేక్ ఓవర్ మీరు యాక్చువల్లీ సైడే మనం డిస్కస్ చేస్తున్నప్పుడే మీరు ఒకటి చెప్పారు అంటే ఆ వరల్డ్ బిల్డింగ్ అంటే లాగేసింది సినిమా మమ్మల్ని ఆ మూడ్ లోకి ఆ ప్రపంచం నుంచి బయటికి రాలేకపోయిన సినిమా చూస్తున్నంత సేపు అన్నారు ఇన్ఫాక్ట్ చూసిన తర్వాత కూడా ఒక త్రీ ఫోర్ డేస్ కి వన్ ఆఫ్ ది థింగ్స్ దై రియలీ నోటిస్ ఇన్ యూర్ రైటింగ్ దర్ ఐ లవ్ ఇన్ యూర్ రైటింగ్ వాష్ దేర్ ఆర్ మెనీ వేస్ ఆఫ్ వరల్డ్ బిల్డింగ్ అండ్ దిస్ క్లియర్లీ లాట్ ఆఫ్ థాట్ యూ పుట్ ఇన్ టు దీస్ సీన్స్ అంటే వెరీ సిమిలిట్యూడ్ అంటారు కదా దట్ దట్ ఫీలింగ్ ఆఫ్ రియల్నెస్ you bring through your writing there were many many little scenes like for example uh, interval block mundu inaki boss chani poyaru an news dorikina tarvata ayina malli a barrack kochaka inochi ina thought process lo ina unnaru but you let one entire scene play out about whose turn it was to clean the toilet that day and who hasn't done it be it something like that and then you obviously connected a little later that they they put that responsibility on him or be it something as simple as there's a scene where she's talking to her mother and her mother is picking up uh, chips packets and fryams and all that you get a sense that oh this is what maybe the mother has been doing to survive and raise these kids after the father died i got a sense i don't know if i'm right but yeah. i got a sense that that's her business and then there was another scene for example how she gets the news of the heart attack right ఆ సీన్ ఎక్కడైనా పెట్టి ఉండొచ్చు ఆ అమ్మాయి ఇంట్లో కూర్చొని న్యూస్ చూస్తుంది ఎక్కడైనా పెట్టవచ్చు బట్ షీ ఇస్ టేకన్ హర్ బ్రదర్ ద ట్యూషన్ టీచర్ ఇస్ స్కోల్డింగ్ హర్ బికాస్ ద బ్రదర్ ఇస్ నాట్ బిన్ కమింగ్ టు ట్యూషన్ క్లాస్ రెగ్యులర్లీ ఎక్సెట్రా ఎక్సెట్రా అండ్ ఇన్ ద మిడిల్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ది షీ సడన్లీ డైవర్టెడ్ బై దట్ దట్ పీస్ ఆఫ్ న్యూస్ కమింగ్ అవుట్ సో ఎవ్రీ లిటిల్ సీన్ ఐ సో సర్టన్ ఎఫర్ట్ గోయింగ్ ఇన్ ఇట్స్ వెరీ ఆర్గానిక్ ఎఫర్ట్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ నథింగ్ వాస్ డన్ ఫర్ ద సేక్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ దాట్ టు మీ వాస్ ద వర్ల్డ్ బిల్డింగ్ బికాస్ వరల్డ్ అంటే ఇట్స్ నాట్ సమ్ ఫ్యాంటసీ డ్రామా ఆర్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ సమ్ బ్రాండ్ న్యూ వరల్డ్ దట్ వరల్డ్ ఇస్ in their hearts that relationship there's this beautiful dialogue where she says he says it's for our future so that we have a better life and she says i already have that place he says where and he says it's right here with you that's the world you need to build and that came through so beautifully in all these little little touches so was that an effort is that like no this is how i will write each scene or is just organically your style ok scene rasa eta pudi id ekadaina pedadam organically my style because what i start doing is one more than anything else i get mostly invested in the characters right like what does she do in her free time what right. does he do in his free time where do they go what do they eat you know so this this news of this you know something happening to a very influential man uh, how does it percolate to her now right. the n number of ways would be for her to be watching tv so i wanted to see how i can you know sort of information when it comes to you when i have got bad news with uh, when, when a friend passed away and when i found out it was not i was not doing you know i was not prepared for you that information really i was not it. waiting for it correct, correct. i was doing something else correct. and then the news hit me and that is something that is the nature of how bad news always comes to you correct you are always doing something else and then somebody taps you on the shoulder and says you know something bad happened right. so i wanted to represent how bad news actually comes to us right. in real life and that's how i've experienced it so i wrote it as a reflection of that so that and is how it i'm guessing it helps you also that you're in the middle of doing something rather than just stand and deliver lines yeah, yeah. Uh, you stand and yeah, feel yeah. this emotion now more more realistic it is definitely you know we it becomes easy for us uh, to right. perform as well you start reacting to the situation right. you start reacting to the truth of the moment and i can imagine and, uh, and the kind of actors that Uh, rakshit and rukmini are uh, it's that sense of activity for that and then reacting to something uh, it, it helps a lot in terms of you 100% know, uh, correct how they take that information i mean for me see i i always look at it this way that as a writer i have to give work to everybody on the on the on the on the on the set yeah. the cameraman has to work the actors have to work so if i write a scene which demands the actor to up his game then that for me is like a very good form of writing and when the actor does th- there are so many places in the film where their performances were so good yeah. that i have scratched off lines mm-hmm. because i am like yes. they don't need Lines. like we don't need lines for what he is saying in his eyes right so i have removed it and so he is challenging me i it's not like an ego thing but it's correct, like correct, correct. you know it was like you can do better right. you know you you it, you get pushed as a writer so you're like you go home and you're like i have to write this you know in a way that if he is using his eyes so much i have to give him something 
to use his eyes more. You know. Right. So one of the first things I told him, I said, "Thank you for the silences in the film." I so I have to say, thank you guys for the silences in the film, man. Now that. And I know Rukmini how it has got created. Very, very transparent eyes. I mean, yeah. you can when she smiles, her eyes smile. Like you, you can close the rest of her face. I'll know she's smiling. Yeah. When she's sad, it just pours through her eyes. So, what was the most uh, difficult scene for you, Rukmini? Challenging in terms of uh, playing Priya. What was the one scene that you were worried, anxious about, and wondering how you would pull it off, or what was your thought process? I. Luckily, and I, I think this is testament to the kind of support that I had on set from everyone. I wasn't too anxious about too much. When I began this project, I was very anxious because I was getting to work with people that I admire greatly, with a project that had a great deal of promise and a character that was given so much weight. You know, when you see something like that, you're like, God, I better not mess this up. So uh, uh, after that, I remember distinctly during our first week, Hemant telling me at some point. Our job is not to feel pressure; it's to remove pressure. Because right. I was putting a lot of weight on myself to not uh, fumble this. Correct, mm. correct. So he said, "Take that off. Mm. Like, just go out there, play, and we'll we'll figure this out." So it's so, great advice, Emant. Such great advice. It, it for really that. was. It really was. When and you sent that Insta DM, you would have had no idea it was going to be <laughs> this good a role. Right? <laughs> I I mean that that DM changed my life. <laughs> Shoot your shot. Go. I did. I did. It was. It was written. It was saved. It was vetted by my mother, my sister, and uh, is there any way anyone could take any offense from this? Are there enough emojis and much enough namaskarams in this? Oh. But um. Someday, can you please uh, insta the screenshot? The screenshot. Of the oh, video. definitely, the, definitely. The one that changed your life. <laughs> hey, man. One more question for you. See, naaku saptasagaral that choose na puru. everything was feeling so poetic but see po poetry is very personal correct you right you we can't sit in a group and decide to write one poem correct but this is one poem and there is you there are actors there is a dop there is a music director there is an editor and yet anta mottham oka sync lo unnatundi like like everybody is seeing one exact same vision but it is so personal how did you achieve that it's still baffling me like every time now i'm the visuals are constantly running at the back of my mind and how was how did you manage to get that entire team on board i mean as a filmmaker we do have to have them come and collaborate and do it but this is exceptionally personal it's 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 it it comes from one person's mind so अंत प्रिशन तो एट्लागर फर् एग्जापल मी ओपनिंग सीक्वे यू नो स्टार्ट द कर् इज गोइंग एंड दू नो रक्षित इज ड्रैविंग एंड यू कुड स्टार्ट द फिल्म एनी वे बट इट वाज पोएटिक बट इट वाज सो प्रिसज इट स्टार्ट वित् दि एग्जाक्ट थिंग दट लेटर लीड्स टू द मोस्ट यू नो टू मल्ट इंसीडेंट इन द फिल्म इट वाज सो प्रिसज इट वाज हर्स कोलिंग हिम फॉर द स्पीड and then him driving a car like he owns the car but that's not his life his life is something else there were so many things that just came back to me by the end of the film so every scene had so many dimensions and so many different people contributing in so many ways but it was like opera almost yeah. it was so beautifully in sync like i can't i'm not able to recall another film helps having a A producer and a star and JP sir. Yeah. So. After that, we only remain just that. What What were the, the conversations you were having with your DOP, with your music director, with with your crew to uh, get them to see what is in your head? Is see, my question. For me, cinema is it's my vision ultimately, but it's also a place where I have to let go. It's a process of letting go. I am most in control when I am writing the story because I have already seen the film in my head. Right. 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 to see to make the film that i'm seeing in my head by holding on to it as tightly as possible would be the shortest way to destroy it right because yeah. it would just be my vision correct so i have to allow other people to for it to become personal for them like i have to trust adwait uh, that he gets it right and i have to he will do his he will not do something that i want he'll do something that he, he thinks his interpretation of it which yeah. uh, which will you know surprise me right which will be like oh okay nice you know let's go with this 
So there are so many places like even with regard to performances, there, there will be a very specific way I will want uh, Rukmini to look or Rakshit to say something. But in their way they act, it won't feel organic to them. So Rakshit will say, Nang, yeah, I'm not feeling, can I say it like this? I will try like this. Or maybe this line is not required. So I have to allow for that to happen. Uh, then that scene becomes theirs, right? So it's like that. So every every uh, step of the way, I am actually letting go of, of control. And for me, I'm a bit of a control freak. So for me to slowly, methodically let go of control is a very uh, liberating process. And that's how I've made the film. Uh, that's 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 only how I know to make films. I did this with Godivana, did this with Kauludari. I'm doing it with now, uh, with uh, Sapta also. But I feel... The very happy thing for me is when I finish the film, I can proudly say that it is not just me. You know, everybody, it is everybody else's film. Correct, correct. Everybody who's worked on the film, they, you can see them there. Mm -hmm. You can see the, in that moment, yeah. Rakshit is Manu. In that moment, Rukmini is Priya. In that moment, Advait has done his best and you, you know. You can feel that when cinema choose no yeah. It's and that which is actually reaching out to audience. Correct. We are, uh, I, I was uh, saying this uh, after the release of the film, I got a little emotional that I was talking mm. to these guys and I was saying that we'll go, uh, but what we leave behind is our work and is, is cinema. True. So True. It's, it's good to work with people who are ready to do that. I'm sorry if I can also just add, yeah, just please. as an allegory to the way Hemant sort of approached letting go, for instance, like after the famous DM um, and I was called in for an audition to, to work on the role of Priya. He sent me the script that I would be auditioning with. He sent me a little brief about her life, certain events that were important in Priya's life that shaped her to being the person she was. And I, uh, typical anxious actor way, I'd prepped it non-stop. I had done my thing. I was ready to sing if needed. All of those things were ready. I came in there and I expected to have a whole conversation about, you know, this is where you're at. He said, okay, go ahead. Uh -huh. <laughs> my mind was blown. <laughs> and I, I obviously I had worked on everything and I had come you know with a certain interpretation but I never expected that I would that my first opportunity in that dojo space would be to put my version of Priya forward right so I did I did my thing I infused it with whatever little moments whatever little actions I had and then he said okay I like that let's take a little more of a pause here let's do this let's do that at no point did did he come and say, okay, these are your lines. Right. I need you to function within this. Right. So it's such a terrifying in the best possible sense and liberating space to be given something and said, okay, go forth. Correct. Now. <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely environment. This is such Meer a Antena, Manu was how confident you way of making a story. <laughs> such a self-assured way of making a best story. No, no, get everybody yeah. on board. Yeah, get everybody equally yeah. invested. No, yeah. Her process is very, very uh, different. She makes notes uh, and she's always asking questions and then uh, she would be doing character sketches, <laughs> all, all, all that on the set and sometimes it, it scares me. <laughs> I have not, <laughs> not done this for 10 years. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> kind. Okay. But uh, yeah, um, as I said, you know, he takes you along. You know, you, right. you just have to prepare yourself for the, how the, for the starting bit of the film. Right. Uh, like, as soon as he tells me a story because of the kind of decisions what Manu takes, you get a Get an idea of what kind of character he is. Correct. So once you prepare for that, and then he he takes you along throughout the uh, journey. Right. And you start knowing the character more and more as you uh, go forward. Experience it yourself. And that's the best way, I believe, because if you if you know something which is going to happen in the climax, and you know act based on that, you act according to in, in the first scene. Right. I mean, the real character won't know that, right? Correct. Uh, Correct. So especially in a film like this. F film like this, uh, and you know when you trust the. <laughs> The, the captain and it's just <laughs> follow him. <laughs> I, I also wanted to talk about uh, one thing that was very interesting for me in the writing throughout the film, which is the duality of a lot of characters. Um, his boss is a man who doesn't bat an eyelid before Telugu making... Huh? Telugu. Telugu. Ah, okay, Anal. This is Telugu custom. It's not a custom. So, this is a boss ever right there. I hesitation lack unda na kodukuni kaapadu kodaniki edo oka driver meeda ee blame ne set down fix ayipothar but at the same time he is also a man of his word in a sense he is an honorable man i mean i don't bite because end of the day 
ఆ డెసిషన్ మీరు తీసుకున్నాక అక్కడే నా దృష్టిలో మీరు పడిపోయారు ఇంకొకటిని జైలుకి పంపడానికి నేను రెడీ అన్నప్పుడు బట్ అట్ ద సేమ్ టైం అయ్యో ఇప్పుడు వీళ్ళందరూ వదిలేస్తారా మనుని అనే ఒక భయం క్రియేట్ చేసి యూ రియలైజ్ ఓహో యాక్చువల్లీ వీళ్ళని వాళ్ళు కాదు ఇఫ్ ఎనీథింగ్ వాళ్ళు ఏమేమి ప్రామిస్ చేశారో అంతా వాళ్ళైతే నిలబె నిలబెట్టుకుంటున్నారు అనే ఒక సెన్స్ వస్తుంది బీట్ ద సన్ ఫస్ట్ యూ సీ ది యాక్సిడెంట్ వెరీ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్లీ కావాలని ఖచ్చితంగా చేసి ఉంటారు హీ డస్ సంథింగ్ విచ్ యూ డోంట్ రివీల్ బికాస్ యూ లుక్ ఎట్ ద డాటర్ ద విక్టమ్స్ డాటర్ లేటర్ ఆన్ ఇన్ ద కోర్ట్ టీవీలో చూస్తాం మనం వాడు యాక్చువల్లీ ఒకసారి కొట్టిన తర్వాత అది ఎవరికైనా జరగవచ్చు అది తప్ప కాదా అనేది ఆర్గ్యూ చేయడం చాలా కష్టం ఎనీబడి ఎస్ యూర్ యూర్ రాంగ్ ఇఫ్ యూ డ్రైవింగ్ ర్యాష్ బట్ యూ హిట్ సంబడి అండ్ దెన్ వెరీ కోల్డ్ దట్ హీ రివర్సెస్ అండ్ మేక్స్ ష్యూర్ ద మ్యాన్ ఇస్ డెడ్ అండ్ దెన్ గోస్ అవే so you see that kind of a man it jerks you but he is also a guy who goes back home who's crying who's guilty vaadi guilt lekunda kada vaade em one dimensional villain character kaadu vaadi ki guilt undi or if you take that beautiful scene where the husband sits down and talks to manu and he says you know mm. the difference between my wife and your girl mm. and he says uh, it's very he doesn't judge his wife it's very beautiful he understands it he says papam tanaku obligation ekkado aina ఆ అమ్మాయి నన్ను ఎందుకు లవ్ చేస్తుంది ఎందుకు లవ్ చేయాలి అనేది ఈజ్ మై పీస్ విత్ ఇట్ అండ్ ఈస్ ఇస్ సార్ ఆబ్లికేషన్ ఫర్ షీ హ్యాస్ టు కమ్ టు విజిట్ మీ బికాస్ మై రిలేటివ్స్ విల్ దో అంటే ఊరే అసలు వదలదు ఫర్గెట్ మై రిలేటివ్స్ అంటాడు బట్ అట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ ఇన్ హిస్ ఐస్ యూ కెన్ సీ హీ విషెస్ దట్ హిస్ వైఫ్ ఫాస్ లైక్ ప్రియా హూ కమ్స్ టు సీ మను దెర్ ఇస్ దట్ డ్యువాలిటీ అండ్ దెన్ ఇఫ్ యూ యు నో ఆల్ దీస్ క్యారెక్టర్స్ హ్యావ్ దిస్ డ్యువాలిటీ ఐ ఐ ఫెల్ట్ లైక్ ద టూ పీపుల్ ఇన్ ద ఫిల్మ్ హూ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ దట్ డ్యువాలిటీ ఆర్ ద టూ ఇన్ లవ్ So how do you, how do you see that was that an important theme for you uh-huh. that somebody so purely in love with each other that is why they have achieved that singularity they're more honest uh in the sense that you know when uh, i i didn't i didn't approach it like uh, you know that these two shouldn't have that duality right i didn't uh, uh, i didn't plan it that way but the the central core around how we have written it is to try and root these into human people human beings are complicated they make decisions that are always not morally right correct there is a moral idea of what is right or wrong right. but we don't often ourselves i don't do always what is morally right correct right correct. Uh, when i'm when i'm speeding on the road uh, or when i'm when i when somebody you know says something i abuse like i am i have short temper like a madman yeah. so i there are very times where i'm like you know i maybe i should have said it you know <laughs> i should should i say sorry but you said it correct, right? correct correct so i'm not saying that is okay right you always have to be better you always have to be you but you always have to also take into a cognizance that human beings are like that you know you always want something better than if somebody has something shiny and better than what you have it's always that thing where you desire saying right. i wish it was mine right. doesn't necessarily mean you value your what you have less right. right so i wanted to root all the characters as human as possible because right. nobody the here the the villain is the fate correct you know correct. the and uh, achutana carelessness in the sense that some people are just careless with the way they speak correct you know they i feel are the biggest damaging you know effect on, they they cause the biggest damage in people's lives right because one simple thing that they say can you know can really cause so much of pain you know i was just thinking about this when uh, achut sir characters does it i was like but but what why is he doing that why appudu naaku ardham ayindi entante oka sense of power when you mm. get mm. you just want to prove a point you just want to use that power you yeah. you have that ability to mess with something to change something yeah. Yeah. to change one one thing it yeah. was him just randomly doing it see it's like he's he, he's uh, 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 that's that's the perfect way to put it uh, put it because the way he's climbing the stairs yeah. also he's climbing mm. up and if you look at it i play I, i used to play a lot of chess when i was a kid and there are many times when uh, you know when a pawn gets sacrificed mm-hmm. because you get a better position correct so manu is a pawn for him you know yeah. because he is just moving to a better position and it's like a good chess move like if, if if you were playing chess then achutana is actually yeah. being very good yeah. mm-hmm. for his own, own for correct. somebody that he loves correct. correct you know for his family so he is looking out and the world is full of such people yeah. and you know so it, for me it was interesting to always explore this without 
thinking who is the villain yeah. you yeah, know yeah, who yeah. is the uh, so that that freedom i sort of had yeah. uh, without having to worry that okay uh, you know i'll have to explain that the villain is this that because he's a writer himself it mm. it helps a lot right. when i tell him a writing piece or a writing idea he doesn't think as a producer he'll be like ah this is superb rakshit <laughs> 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 if manu had to have some gray shades what would it be i mean what side me full gray only gray any grays for priya there <laughs> Does Priya have grays in side yeah, B? Yeah, for sure. I, I, I would love to see. I don't want to hear. Priya, she starts having grays in side A also. I, I, we, we, we've yeah, had Priya. this conversation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I mean, please um, tell me. Uh, spoiler full conversation. Ah, this is. Ah, okay. Side B of so, our interview. So, one of the things that we were exploring, and we shot this, um, we shot this in a montage format, is mm -hmm. her constant journey to jail to mm -hmm. see Manu, mm -hmm. and it was great fun because we shot. about four or five different instances of her going Correct. and the kind of toll that jail is having on manu the journey of going to jail and seeing yes. him in that state is happening yeah, on right, priya right. yeah so and we kind of showed how so, it's corroding yeah. her So there's this instance with an elderly lady on the bus yes, and she yeah. gets up and she's like no no please that, please sit yeah. that's about the gray that she has right? yeah. that's the gray yeah i mean <laughs> is, that, is she, it not oh, though yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. in the, the sense i saw the corrosion but see the i'll tell you where the corrosion is a little more psychological in the sense that which you don't see but you can infer is that when you get she's she is in a very bad place mentally mm. right the one with the brother she no, she she beats his brother Correct. beats the brother but Correct. that's okay mm. brothers are there that's a sibling <laughs> thing <laughs> that's what they exist for you get i have a single child so i am saying this very <laughs> casually I brother, I get it. so but what happens is that she decides that she doesn't want to live and she wants to jump so the way she jumps to her death is by accepting a marriage proposal so she is you know the corrosion is the fact that she's getting into a relationship with a man who does not know anything about this that's also that's so corrosion yeah. tendency that is except the amazing thing that hemant uh, i mean later on i, I don't remember, recall if this was before uh, like we shot side b or after she's not only Harming her own life, she's also involving another yeah. person in this right. now, and that is very like, careless. That is very, you know, you couldn't say it that way because of how much we were all in love with Priya's character. <laughs> yeah. By that no, point, no. In, in fact, Rukmini, it's one of my favorite. Of course, I don't think that. Rikmi still... didn't think about this Correct. until. The, uh, I was until... hoping she would run away before the marriage. Get <laughs> 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 looting so, for her to get away from there. <laughs> one of my favorite cuts in the film for me, and and the whole montage leading up to that cut is. is i remember uh, sequence yeah i i was uh, i like i mentioned you i was watching the film with samantha and she goes up on the building and she's oh, about yeah. to mm -hmm. and literally i had this girl next to me palpitating like no 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 don't jump don't jump don't jump cuts to her saying i'm fine with him mm -hmm. and, and also second, the cut is like yeah. you know yeah. yeah. yo yeah. i know and then she yeah. looks up and suddenly this felt even more painful for me mm. i was like this is she i think that would have and there's an interesting dialogue to parallel that where patil in the jail tells him it's easier to live uh, uh, die than to live with this yeah. guilt and that is our punishment yeah. Yeah. and you have the one character in the film it's beautiful there is that whole dialogue where manu goes inside jail and he says what is your crime yeah. manu mm. says i didn't commit one mm. the second time he comes he says he talks about a collar lo vasana undedi aa vasana naaku nachadu and he stops half way and says hit and run but you know manu has understood at that point yeah. that his crime his, yeah. is that shortcut yeah. 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 that he thought that shortcut would get him a better life and that's a shortcut and he understands but he says hit and run to come back to this everybody in the character i mean all characters in the film are dealing with guilt by the end of the film some form of guilt for the decisions they've made for the mistakes they've made priya's character is probably the only character dealing with grief So at that point, that grief seems so much more powerful than the guilt. Even no, I felt even her guilt was there. It was her dream for which Manu went to get, you know, to buy that house by the seaside. She explicitly uh, stops him. No, she says, "But I have what I need right here." She with did, you. but uh, knowing that the idea got planted in his head yeah. because of her. And, and the, uh, the we all have our various <laughs> theories about. That's the film. beauty of a film, right? When you make <laughs> yeah, something yeah. personal enough, it has a life of its own. Everybody will interpret it differently. Yeah. That that entire montage. before every time priya comes to meet manu eppudu navutadi eppudu positivity isthadi i don't remember a single scene where it's all out crying or anything she she gets scared every time the case is adjourned whatever but she always has a smile for manu 
she sends manu back into prison with hope mm-hmm. with joy with cheer and and at one point manu stops coming to see her right and priya keeps coming she keeps coming to jail keeps coming to jail and that spirit is slowly withering at one point beautifully she's sitting and making that halwa and her own salty tears fall into that halwa <laughs> sort of i don't know if you meant it but poetically conveys that she has no more sweetness in cheer to give him mm. that she herself is full of salt now and that halwa she never goes to give it to him she dumps it in the dustbin and that's the day she, day she decides it's not because she's tired of going to jail it's because she knows she doesn't have any more positivity to give him she doesn't have any more hope to give him how long can a girl hang on to something manufacture it and and keep going and giving it to him and it's at that point when she says no point me going and meeting the guy anymore and she doesn't go to jail that day cut to she goes on top of the building and it was heartbreaking of all the people that deserve to die in this film it shouldn't be priya you <laughs> ticket go neste we shot by shot ikka motta cinema chestadu ikka chusi yach meer motta so that, that montage what was the thinking of that that montage i i wanted to show uh, uh, that that sequence actually it's, it's it's amazing when you uh when some when you intend something and right. somebody gets it it's right. the, it's the, it's a riseest feeling right. so that idea of her making that Uh, that shenga that uh, kesri baat and that kesri baat that she doesn't give is the one that she's crying was right. something that was uh, put together in the edit when i was editing i was like this sequence has to come here this has to come here because this is the kesri baat that she doesn't give i was right. trying to push that idea somehow right. uh, so it's very nice came that through. you uh, <laughs> well, that came you, through powerfully i mean very uh, very powerful edit but the idea of her going i wanted her implosion to be very personal like right. very inward right. because women our society compels them to you know do that right. uh, mostly right. uh, in majority so i wanted he, his uh, implosion to be very outward uh, and his character also is like very restrained he's right. not expressed his frustration or what is somewhere he feels guilty but he is also like is this too much of a punishment for that simple desire that i had of course you know, it's correct it it's like there is a certain thing where you know like it's for example unfair. when when somebody for example meets with an accident and dies you always ask you know what did that person do wrong correct right so there is always that anger which is you don't know where to direct that anger right. so that anger is brewing in him for a very long time and when it comes out it i wanted that explosion you know uh, like i have to say this the, the thing is there was another fight sequence that we had actually planned mm. where he lifts the stone mm. and uh, you know uh, we had i had we had got the fight master's dates and we had planned it also oh but we chose not to like i got a Thank feeling God, that yeah it's such a powerful scene when mm-hmm. patil stops you, know, you. Yeah. but i the good thing is that the fight would have worked commercially Correct. actually at that Correct. point of time but while discussing i felt you know the fight here is unnecessary right, right. and i told him and he was also like yeah it's not he shouldn't fight here correct right he shouldn't explode here right. he should explode in the climax it, it makes even more sense because manu at, at that point still has some hope that he will get out yeah, of yeah. jail yeah, yeah, yeah. finally when he yeah. realizes this is it yeah. i am here for 10 years that is when finally yeah. because right. yeah. if somebody with hope who wants to go back to priya will never will not do that will yeah. never break yeah. that role or put himself yeah. in more danger so that that whole graph was beautiful for me and also that that character at that point of time makes a conscious decision to start thinking is until then that character is like how will the accident happen you don't trust my driving type of character mm. right. here he, there is a voice in his head that says you know what if you don't get out you right. know so which is why he doesn't fight he right. becomes little more introspective that that right. point of time oh that that uh, even the final montage ore inga chaalra cheppadra nu cinema gurinchi mottham cheppadra side b side b sir okay okay sir 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 chepp oh inga mari chaala spoilers undi ledu mana inga ledu ledu vallalli ticket konukoni cinema chudandi ninu chaalu vidu mottha short by short cheppadu let me see if there's something i definitely want to discuss so so uh, oh, I, we have yeah, to find there is one thing there is last definitely one thing yeah 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 it's okay you don't you stop recording also i want to discuss with you no problem we have to finish the interview oh we let nandu also go no problem no no we have to finish it conclude it they are running out of battery <laughs> no but one 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 thing that came through beautifully for me which is that um, 
today especially we live in a it's almost a commentary on capitalism the film itself i don't know if you intended it or you didn't like ma uh, recently ma intlo staff vallu kuda inti ki vetuktunnaru oka illu kosam vetuktunnaru and we realize the rents are so high and things like that today i don't i won't say it's replaced because caste still exists but i think financial disparity has become another power structure that there are oppressed and those who who take advantage of it right there is this beautiful scene in the prison vaallu koduku kosam meer jail ki vellaru meer cheyani oka tappu kosam meer jail ki vellaru kani jail ki vellipoyin tarvata vaallu mimmalni kalavadaniki vastaru your boss and achu thanna come to meet you in jail this this beautiful sequence i don't know if you had asked him to play that way you played in a very beautiful manner where the man comes and says don't worry i'm there for you you will be comfortable from now on it is your entitlement you have made such a big sacrifice for their family mm. but you're actually grateful in that scene mm. you're like thank you anna and you come back and you're very proud of your boss you tell the other guy also i told my boss and my boss is he's a man of his word he's honorable there is no need for gratitude there but you're grateful and that to me was the most telling scene i've seen in recent times about how Classic. financial Classic. disparity has become a power structure in society i mean the fact that he is somebody who doesn't have the money they have the money he sees this as a shortcut he's willing to go to prison to get that money and he feels grateful that people giving him the money so how how much thought went into it was it written that way or was it your way of interpreting it no i think hemant was very clear about it i mean as soon as i enter he wanted me to do this and i was like okay <laughs> i was not very comfortable in in the beginning and like i think i think we did two three takes there and once i got that oh, here if, as soon as he enters if he has to do that then i know how how the scene continues from there navigated yeah, yeah. the end of the scene you have a beautiful smile on your face i mean this is <laughs> thank you na it was heartbreaking for me are you are in jail because of that man's son you are grateful for him it was beautiful for me and since a lot of people know when they watch the film they say yeah hey, he's what an idiot he is the thing is they don't understand that when you are from a certain place yes. mm. when you come from somewhere you would make a decision like this absolutely you know, th- there are people who that that people who think that manu is stupid don't realize that you know uh, there are people who for them getting from a to b right in life is a huge jump absolutely not many not many people will ever make absolutely. so for him to have that bridge which sort of you know wipes away 20 years of hard work correct is very tempting like if i was in issues i would also be very tempted you know anybody like, any, and that's why it happens yeah 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 <laughs> it happens in reality so yeah and oh. probably it happens in everybody's life in a different format too correct yeah. like for example uh, let's say if if i i am a i'm a very creative uh, i i would want to be in that in that side but you know, when i go to a business uh, meetings and i want to crack something i'm actually in a certain way right. deep inside i am not the same person who is doing films like right. when i'm i'm in the set and i'm directing a film the attitude what i have right. without subconscious subconscious is not that i want to be like this right. but when you go to a business meeting and you want to crack something despre- right. desperately you actually become lower oh, than your ha, it, it changes right correct, correct because you want that to right. uh, you want this deal to uh, happen right. correct uh, i think manu is in that space Correct. That's actually yeah. very interesting because beyond who you are, manam every na dabundi dabule do. We have that little up down, yeah. even in terms of relationships, exactly, work. Exactly. That okay. we have that little shifts that we keep uh, doing and making. So and okay. That, that um, related to that, there's another great character moment for Manu. This this one thing was in that moment when he's actually grateful. Manu just became a sweetheart for me. You, you can't help but love the guy there. There's another moment where Priya comes to prison. and gives him the news that the boss is dead nenu choostunna nene em expect chesanante manu first reaction bayam untadi ayyo but na paristhi enti mari but his first reaction is yeah. not that first reaction Sadness is regret and he says he was a good man and i was like what a beautiful guy i mean this guy no wonder this girl fell in love with him his first reaction is not my own circumstances my fear he was a good man and it's sad that he's dead i think those two character moments just defined manu for me but there are there, i believe there are two things there not just that he doesn't want to show his mm, uh, his, fear. his fear to uh, also mm. correct because she will carry, uh, carry it right right so right so he wants to you know end it in a very nice note and you know show or suffer that 
alone. Papam, they sure. keep doing it to each other. Each other yeah, Both yeah, of you yeah, keep yeah. giving each other hope and then you go separately yeah. and, and mourn. That so. burden of fear and it was really fun to, I remember we, have, we had this discussion with Hema that it was really fun to kind of throw that back and forth, particularly in that scene. Mm. There's, there's a moment where Priya is like, no, it's fine, it'll be okay. And mm. she's trying to hold that on her own because she can see him falling apart. Right. And he says, no, no, you don't worry about yeah. anything. So he's taking it back. And right. That back and forth is something Hemant had such clarity about. And right. He just tells you that, but it's it's amazing to see it translate. That's, <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing I think that makes the couple so endearing. Everybody wants to see them together. There is another thing that I wanted to ask you if it was intended or not. Again, you can switch off the camera, no problem. <laughs> um, there was at halfway mark, at around interval mark, I was fully ready to be destroyed by the film. I was like, okay, by the end of this film, my heart is going to be all around the theatre in little pieces. I'll have to pick it up, pack it together and go back home. That doesn't happen actually. Uh, by the end of the film, it leaves you very numb. It doesn't destroy you. don't come out crying. It just leaves you numb in a good way. And I think for a lot of people, they're like, ah, but I wanted to cry my heart out. Why didn't that happen? And then I went back home for two, three days. I kept thinking about why was I numb? There's so many heartbreaking things happening. Why did it make me numb? And then I realized something. I, I realized that the film ends not with Manu's character breaking down or with Priya's character breaking down, but with both of them becoming numb and making peace with their circumstances. Priya, Manu at least has something to look forward to. He has revenge to look forward to. He has the one little sliver of joy that at least Priya has gotten married Hopefully, she will have a happy life. Priya doesn't even have that. Her prison to me is deeper and darker because she's she's got nothing to look forward to. She chose not to jump off that building and thank God for that. But this is worse in some ways. So at that point, it just makes you so numb. And that's when I realized, yeah, that's why you feel numb. And that's why you realize it's not the end of the story. Your catharsis, your emotional release, all the pain and the relief and the frustration you'll feel come in second part. And hopefully, <laughs> Manu, like I, to me, revenge is a negative emotion, no matter what. I, for example, I can't get myself to write a story where I justify revenge. But at the end of this film, I was like, I hope Manu has his cold-blooded revenge. <laughs> I'm like, I hope all those buggers die. So, I, I guess, one thing I will tell you is that... Um, Whatever this film, I hate talking box office, I like talking merits and demerits of a film. But whatever this film part one does at the box office, I have no doubt that that will be day one collections of part two. Yeah. There is not a single person who watched part one who will not turn upon day yeah. one for Everybody part two. Everybody has said they are going to go watch day one. Part two, uh, me included, Rahul included. We are 100%. both going to, uh, together. 100%, yes, yes. And, uh, Who's booking? I am only booking. <laughs> and uh, I want to see what is the conversation Manu and Priya Kalsnapudu. What is the first thing <laughs> yeah, they say to each other? And this other girl. And oh my like, God. Okay, and Chaitra Acharya Achar is another brilliant actor. I'm looking don't forward to seeing. Don't give me any see. hints. I don't want to know. Oh, she was in Toby. You didn't see Toby? No, no. So that I know. Blowing. I saw her. Yeah. I was very curious that nowhere did I get to see the husband in the preview. So I'm no, like, he was there. No, not in the preview. When she was getting married, we saw him. Getting there. married, oh, but in part two part preview, two, yeah, he's yeah. not there. So I was like, oh, it's something. Okay, I don't <laughs> want to know. <laughs> like, I'll find out when it comes. I've Luckily, been, it's only a month. I've been so. digging, trying to dig from Rukmini. She's not <laughs> giving me anything. Please don't tell me anything. Don't tell me anything. <laughs> But I anyway, mean, it was such there fun There are lots of other things I want to discuss, but... No. What though? After, after, is not after, letting always, me. For me, there is always... See, when you make a story like this and you say part two, the, uh, the, everybody will have their own interpretation that many people have thought it's a... Uh, you know, it'll be a revenge film. Some people think it'll be this. Some people think it'll be that. So, for me, it's like... That is, I didn't have the pressure for side A, but for side B, I'm like, okay, all of you are writing a story and coming. <laughs> Somehow this story that I have written and we have made has to, you know, uh, like somehow outdo it. Right. So, let's see. I think it will. Oh, just, just that first time that they meet after jail. <laughs> <laughs> all my expectations are on that scene. I'm just waiting for that. There's so much to tell there. But yeah, it was so much fun. Now, before we wind up, I just want to ask I you guys. Know, did you actually get an interview? This is what Ryan yeah. discussed. No, no, no. I don't think we can put it out there. Yeah. Yeah. I think this was fun. This was yeah. fun. This is, yes. uh, this is what we as directors want conversations yeah. to be to like. Be, yeah, yeah, actually. In front of this man huh. and understand why huh. he wrote what he wrote. So, yeah. I don't know if you have any structure. I don't know if we can put it out. But, <laughs> but thank you for calling me. <laughs> no, but I, I really, on behalf of the team, on behalf of everybody who's worked on the film, 
to have met people like yourselves who are pro fellow professionals and who are so true to cinema to do this for another film is just like uh, the generosity and kindness is i mm. swear it's uh, really beautiful this I is mean, what cinema should be like yeah, yeah, i is. wanted to do this yeah. i love cinema <laughs> first filmmaker later first time no, it, 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 so. it makes me very emotional because see it's the uh, it's like the i have never met you guys <laughs> we, we don't know who you are and it's just because of the film and how much you like the film so thank you thank you so much a uh, absolute pleasure on yeah. a parting note i would like to know what were your your greatest love stories that you all have ever seen in cinema each one of you which oh, one, really the one yeah. film that you would always revisit or go back to uh, uh, i think uh, it's the same <laughs> one is pallavi anubhavi which hmm. is oh, yeah. uh, yeah, yeah. maniratnam's first film in kannada oh, no. hmm. i i love uh, geetanjali yeah. uh, i love geeta okay in uh, that is a kannada film right. Mahanagam 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 yeah. yeah some something to do with this <laughs> yeah, some yeah. cosmic connection with Mahanagam and that uh mani sir obviously yeah, yeah. any any, any mani sir yeah. film would be yeah, yeah. amazing yeah roja uh outside of that uh, uh, belalingalagi uh, uh, is a kannada film okay. geeta is another kannada film which uh, i'll go back home and watch both these <laughs> bandana is also a very beautiful film so great and uh, looking forward to celebrate the success of uh, side b and uh, also of course now saptasagaral daati a in telugu and then we will also celebrate for uh, side b so wonderful talking to all three of you అండ్ ఇలాంటి మంచి సినిమాలు మీరు చేస్తూ ఉండండి కన్నడలో చేసి తర్వాత మాకు తెలుగులో డబ్ చేయండి ఏ లాంగ్వేజ్ లో చేసిన సినిమా మంచి సినిమాలు చేయండి దట్స్ ఆల్ అండ్ ఇట్ వాస్ లవ్లీ మీటింగ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ గైస్ థ్యాంక్స్ అండ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ కాలింగ్ అస్